Today we'll see one of the frequently asked interview question that is delete versus truncate differences. We'll see the basic and advanced differences and also we'll cover what is high watermark. First difference is that uh, delete is a DML command, data manipulation language, whereas truncate is a DDL command, data definition language. Explicit commit is required after performing delete operation. It's an auto committable. When we perform delete operation, we can roll back it, but we can't roll back the truncate operation. We can delete specific rows by using delete command. We can't, all rows can be deleted. We can't delete specific rows by using truncate command. Filtering can be applied in delete command. No filtering is applicable. Next one is syntax. We'll see what is the syntax for delete command. If you want to delete all the rows, delete from table name. If you want to delete specific rows, we need to put the conditions like where. This is the syntax for truncate command. If you're fresher or experienced having one or two, these differences are fine. But as the level of experience increases, the interview expect more. We'll see, we'll see the advanced differences. First one is the high watermark. Delete doesn't research the high watermark, whereas truncate research the high watermark. Performance wise, uh, delete is slower, whereas truncate is faster. Space reclamation. Uh, delete doesn't uh, reclamate the space, whereas truncate reclamate the space. That is, we can reutilize the table space. Lock, uh, delete uh, locks the particular rows, whereas truncate locks the entire table. If a table has any DML trigger on it, when you perform delete operation, DML trigger will be fired. When you perform truncate operation, DML trigger won't be fired. Rollback table space. If you perform delete operation, each and every record will make an entry into the rollback table space. Whereas no entries will be made when you perform truncate operation. We'll see what is high watermark. It is a constraint that shows the table at its greatest size. It is the boundary between used and unused space. With an example, we'll understand what is high watermark. Consider this is a data block. A new table has been created. One data block has been assigned to the table. So for the starting, high watermark will be at the bottom because no records are there. And this white space is considered as the unused space. So we have inserted some data. The high watermark has to reach to some extent. After some more time, we have added some more data. The high watermark has been increased. So by this, we'll understand like, as the records are inserting more and more, the high watermark will be increased. So we can conclude that high watermark is the boundary between used space and unused space. We'll see whether truncate or delete resets the high watermark. Consider the one data block. It has some data. High watermark is there. So when you perform delete operation on this table, data will be deleted, but the high watermark won't be reset. When we perform truncate operation on the same table, this high watermark will be reset. So that's why we prefer truncate operation when we want to delete all the rows so that it will reset the high watermark. So if you want to remove all the rows, make use of truncate command instead of delete because truncate will reset the high watermark. The drawback of delete command is that suppose if you want to query the table which, which is related to all the records, the optimizer will think that below the high watermark, there is some data. Even though there is no data, it tries to fetch the data. It will take some time. So, so better to use truncate command. We can conclude that truncate reaches the high watermark. Truncate is faster than delete. Truncate removes all the data immediately without copying to rollback table space. Because of this, it is a fast operation. Less logs will be generated. Whereas delete removes every row 
and it will make an entry in the transaction log. For each deleted row, it will make a log and more number of DB resources are being utilized. So first of all, when you apply delete command, all the data will be copied into rollback table space. Because of these differences, we can conclude that truncate is faster than then delete. Now we'll see one tricky interview question. A table XYZ has 10,000 records. In the 10,000 records, I have identified 5,000 records as duplicate. So I have removed that 5,000 records and committed the transaction. Now I have 5,000 records. Later, up, later after some point of time, I have noticed that these 5,000 records also not required. So I want to remove these records. So what would be your approach? The interviewer asks like what, what you will do to remove this remaining 5,000 records. We'll say like delete from X, Y, Z. This is not the correct approach. We need to use truncate table X, Y, Z. By using this comment, the table space will be reutilized and the high watermark will be reset. So we need to answer it as truncate table X, Y, Z. This is a simple question, but we need to apply some logic over it. The upcoming video would be like Oracle 12C features. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.